I wonder if you people are interested in doing any war driving. Because we've been doing it here in previous, we did it once before here, and I've done it quite a bit. It's been pretty popular. It's not directly related to RIP version 6, but it's a security issue. Um, I've done it in San Francisco every semester for a long time. And um, when we first started, there were only 20% secure networks in San Francisco, and then 30 and 40 and 50. And we just did another one. I haven't put it here yet. It was about the same, 55%. So it has failed to get any more secure in the last year. Um, we did Frisco in July. And Frisco in July only had 42% secure networks. So if people are interested, we could do that. But if you're not, we can just do this. But most people are finished with this, and I think a lot of Cisco people are even running out of the packet tracer. I'm not sure about that. Um, so, anybody got any comments? Dead I'm, silence. I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah, I'd be interested in that. But yeah. Uh, want to do the war driving? Yeah. yeah. Anybody else want? If you have a few people with cars, that's all we need. Um, you need laptops, and what you can do is use um, the pro. Let me get the program that you use. It's Vis Stumbler. I should have it on here. If you, if you have Windows 7, it's best. If all you have is XP, it's possible to use. But Vis Stumbler is the best program. If you have a laptop, just charge it up and install this Vis Stumbler thing. Let me bring it up here, and you'll see what it does. Is it No, it's better than NetStumbler. NetStumbler is the old one. The problem with NetStumbler is NetStumbler only tells you if it's secure or not. And their idea of secure includes WEP. And that's not good enough. This thing actually tells WEP from WPA. Yeah? Yes. I, I would just use the same thing because it's working fine. Um, don't update, by the way, because the update fails. Um, and another really common problem is you may end up listening on the wrong interface. That's what stopped about half of my students for a while. Here it is when it's working. You can choose the interface here, and of course you want to listen on your wireless interface. If you're listening on something else, it will fail to find anything. Uh, and when you scan APs, it should just find them. There we are. It's finding Cougar Land, which makes a lot of sense. So it's finding Cougar Land. It's finding my cell phone, which I must have left on, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, OK. Neat. The battery must be about drained. My cell phone is handing out WPA. And here's something with no SSID around here. Somebody's running a rogue access point with no SSID on it. And WEP encryption, that's what you find a lot. Somebody around here is doing, this is probably violating the campus security policy, I would reckon. Just sort of like some other teachers might violate that policy who shall remain nameless. But anyway, um, if you had a GPS, it would record the latitude and longitude. I don't have one in my device, although some of my students have cell phones and stuff. Anyway, if you get this thing running, we could war drive the town. We could even do it today, or we can do it tomorrow morning. But maybe all it takes in San Francisco is one hour. You just drive around for about an hour, you come back and add up all the data, and you get one of those pie charts. And I'd sort of like to do it every place I go so we get a profile with time. By the way, this created some controversy. Um, some of my students went to work for a division of the San Francisco government. Um, they had an internship at the housing agency, and the guy that runs that has more certifications than I do. He goes to every boot camp, he's got them all, and he said, this is illegal. You have to stop doing it immediately. And he's out of his mind. This is not illegal. This is now if you hack into somebody's network, if you find that they got WEP, you break the key and go in there, that's illegal. But if they're broadcasting radio out in the world, you turn on a receiver and receive the radio, that ain't a crime. If they don't want you receiving stuff, they shouldn't be broadcasting out in the open space. And this has been well established for a decade. And um, see, the reason why I don't like to use NetStumbler <laughs> is it doesn't really tell me what's really interesting, which is how many people are secure. But what has been going on for a long time is Wiggle. If you go to Wiggle, Wiggle is um, Wireless Geographic Logging Engine. And this is where it accumulates all the war driving from everybody all over the world, constantly updating it. There's the wireless world this morning. And so we're someplace in Texas. Uh, I, this is a way to get an interactive map here where you can get anywhere you want. The interactive map, there we are. So we're in Frisco. I think I can, it's a Google map, so I think I can just type in the city. We're going to see. But these pick up a cat, but they don't tell you if they're secure, which is kind of rude. But here's a browsable map of the world. Um, good, there's a search. Let's try Frisco, Texas. There we are. Frisco. And let's zoom in a bit.
There it comes. Okay, here's the few blocks around the campus, and in the fullness of time, it should fill in with all the wireless networks around here, unless nobody's war driving around here, which I greatly doubt. Well, maybe not. Let me zoom out a bit and see. What's that? No, you don't need one, unless you want to send up data. I hear it. But um, oh, here they are. Here's all the networks, all the red dots are all the networks that somebody else has already uploaded and put in Wiggle. And if you hover over one, it'll tell you more about it usually. Um, maybe not these. I zoom in some more. So somebody went down that main road and put up the data. Let's wait and see what comes up here, because it was real thick on this street here. There they are. Randy Steakhouse, two-wire, default. You get the SSID of every one of those networks, but you don't tell how encrypted they are. And that's my most interesting fact, I think. That tells us how many people are actually learning how to encrypt their networks. <coughs> so several people are interested in doing this. How many people want to do it tonight? How many people want to do it tomorrow? OK, tomorrow it is. Sure. 